waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Andrew Deminer is joining us. He's the young man who went and asked a real question of Lord Pelosi who began stumbling and fumbling because they're not accustomed to anybody asking him real questions. That's coming up. I want to hear from first-time callers. Your take when he leaves us in about 10, 15 minutes. I'm going to give the number out now. I want to hear from you out there. They're trying to cause a civil war. It's not really even a question now. Am I right about I'm trying to cause a civil war and target the Tea Party and uh, veterans and gun owners and Christians as terrorists? That's now official. And now they're going operational with it. Do you really think they're crazy enough to try it? D d does George Soros really think he's that insulated? I guess he's overthrown all these countries and got away with being a Nazi collaborator. And I guess he went on 60 Minutes and admitted that he collaborated with the Nazis and said he said he did what he had to do. I mean, I I just maybe he is invincible. I mean, he can overthrow a half dozen European countries and put Nazis in charge. I mean, real Nazis. Heiling Hitler, the vice president of Ukraine. I don't know anymore, man. I'm living in the twilight zone. And he's behind all this. He brags he's behind it. I just can't believe what a weird, weird world it is that both my grandfathers fought the Nazis and they lionize it and build it all up as the most epic war of history. And then a top Nazi collaborator in his region, a true rat mole, who would go around finding where the Jews were hiding. And he's a, worshipped as a Jewish icon and gets ADL awards. I mean, what sick evil. I, I, I know I go, I mean, Warren Buffett's a top eugenicist. He's tax exempt. He's the biggest beneficiary of banker bailouts, and he's financing all this anti-gun stuff and abortions. And, inf and I'm just sick of him. I, mean, I just, I just, I'm so sick of him. <laughs> and our country's so decadent, playing on their iPhones and watching TV, that I've had people I know contact me and say, "Chin up, Alex. We know you're good, but man, you know, blah blah blah. You're in a lot of trouble." We're in a lot of trouble. I'm not in a lot of trouble. I chose to fight these people. I expect to be attacked. What does it say that some stuttering Texan who knows what's going on could create a system with no college education to oppose the puppet system of the main global empire? That Matt Drudge, with no formal education, could have the dominant news site in the world. It's only because we're just normal people. World Net Daily is run by an official journalist who ran some of the biggest newspapers in the country and pioneered web journalism. One of the first to do it on the White House enemies list in the early 90s. How they wanted to shut down Joseph Farah because they said if this is allowed to grow, it will allow choice in ideas with the public. Read the memo. My God, sounds like something Kim Jong-un would write. If we let Joseph Farah do this, others might pick it up and there might be choice and then we won't control reality. That's right, Bill Clinton. <clears throat> the money I have to fund my operation was fairly earned with good products. No government money. Bill Clinton, admittedly, I saw the numbers a few months ago, more than half the tens of millions he raises a year with his charity off black kids, goes for his fleet of private jets and, 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 and foundation homes he lives in all over the world. Or well, something like 25 million a year goes to it. But he says he likes black people, so they worship him. I mean, it is just, it, it's, it's just sick. You don't control me, Bill Clinton, you piece of crap, and you never will, you son of a bitch.
Excuse me. I'm sorry, folks. We'll be right back. Clearly starting a civil war. They're clearly saying the new terror threat on CNN, that clip's coming up in a moment, is the bigger threat than Al-Qaeda. That's the official internal talking point we got six years ago from state police, federal marshals, and FBI in trifecta. And I called the phone numbers. The FBI got very threatening that I had those documents, told me I wasn't supposed to have them. It became national news. You know the rest of the story. They are now going operational with this, and that means they're going to stage stuff. When they roll it out and start announcing, there'll be armored vehicles for your safety, and the Tea Party are terrorists, and Christians are terrorists. I mean, they're telling the military that in official manuals. That means they're getting ready to go operational. But I got to say something, then we're going to our guest. I'm going to give the number up. What do they think it does to the military and the police when we warned them about this for years beforehand and then they get called in a briefing room and told this? See, if we'd have just sat around and waited till they started the mass shootings and the bombings and things, staging them, and then let them march in and tell the cops they might have bought it because the stuff was already happening. But see, we told them it was coming. We told the cops that they were going to be told this before they were told it. And then we told them, notice none of this is happening, but it will right after they announce the domestic homegrown terrorist task forces. And then that was announced last week, and then now this began. Now, it could be a coincidence, or it could be all the hype now in the public rollout that domestic groups are going to start terror attacks, that weak-minded, crazy people in a, in a culture of death who glommed onto the Tea Party and they were thrown off the Bundy Ranch. I remember seeing him on TV and thinking that that guy sounds like a provocateur or might have just been mentally ill, might be real. And the media will say, I'm backing off saying it's absolutely staged. I, I said at the rest of the clip that CNN and MSNBC didn't play that it's the sick culture produced it. One way or another, it's artificial. And I don't take the blame for it when I'm trying to stop it. Now, joining us, here's the toll-free number. 800-259-9231. 800-259-9231. But let's say you're an MSNBC or CNN viewer, and you really think I'm evil, and you're one of these people I see, the minority on Infowars.com or PrisonPlanet.com, that really think I'm to blame for all this. I'm creating the paranoia about the corrupt government. There's no NSA illegal spying. Obamacare is a great deal. They're not shutting down our power plants. The government's not funding Al-Qaeda overseas, even though it's admitted. Uh, there are no drones. There are no billions of bullets. There are no armored vehicles. There is no police state. Uh, there are no derivatives. There is no new world order. There's not a global government being built. The government's not funding the overthrow of Ukraine with Nazis. Everything's fine. I'm evil. I'd like to hear from you if you're able to dial the telephone, and I'm being serious. 800-259-9231. 800-259-9231. Now, I wanted to get him on despite all this big breaking news, the official rollout of flipping Homeland Security onto real Americans. You like John Wayne? You like uh, fast cars? You like freedom? You like free market, you like success, you like prosperity, you're bad. You're the enemy, you're a terrorist. And again, if they can bring me down, they can bring everybody down. And they're trying to. This is the biggest assault we've ever seen happening right now. But they, even if they shut me down, which I don't think they can do at this point, and I think this is just the opening salvo of a larger attack, so I don't want to be a drama queen here, but it is a big deal. This isn't about Alex Jones. This signifies the rollout, the end of the free Internet as we know it, which our current issue of the magazine is about. Death of the Internet. And we have the proof in this key issue of the magazine available in bulk at cost at InfoWarsStore.com. If they're able to pull this off and everybody accepts, okay, the Tea Party are the new terrorists, Christians are the new terrorists, Evangelical Christians and their terrorists, that's in the new army manual at Fort Hood, it actually said you'll be court-martialed if you go to evangelical church. It actually said that. Or if you're part of the Tea Party.
I mean, that's beyond North Korea. If they convert that and get away with that, they're going to come after everybody. They're, they're going from a free market and prosperity where the politicians have got to at least let you be somewhat free to have prosperity to a total tyranny by design to totally run your life because they want to control every aspect of it. They are publicly ending prosperity under Agenda 21. Do you understand that? All of you are in the crosshairs right now. 800-259-9231. The phones have been loaded, but as soon as somebody hangs up, you can get on. Now... Andrew Demeter is a very interesting individual, and I wanted to get him on, and um, he had to even fight to get this tape from C-SPAN. C-SPAN responded and said, oh, we don't want to mess up our relationship with the senator. So they're now acting like mainstream whores with their footage for him to get the rights of what's been on television, for him to be able to even show it. When there's supposedly this public interest, oh, we don't know if we want it out that he asked a real question of Pelosi. That might damage our relationship. That's how you have a lapdog media, ladies and gentlemen. The dinosaur state-run media is YouTube is teaching.